Hi guys, welcome back to XNU. So today, let's talk about the income tax rates in Singapore. Okay, so here on my monitor, I have the Inland Revenue Authority of Singapore, ERAS, and there you can find the income tax rates, the latest one, the latest one. So I'll put the link in the description below. So for those of you who watch the, watching this video in the future, 2022, 2023, you know, when they might have changed the income tax rates. So do go to the link in the description to get your latest information. Okay. So for now, uh, these are the income tax rates uh, uh, in Singapore. So you have to remember that in Singapore, they have two personal income tax rates. One is for residents and the second one is for non-resident. Okay. And uh, Singapore personal income tax rates are progressive, meaning the higher you get paid in Singapore, you will have to pay higher taxes. That's all. <laughs> and the current highest personal income tax rate is 22%. All right. Now let's go to the resident tax rates. You can see this chart. Uh, of uh, tax rate, resident tax rates. This is valid from 2017 onwards, all right? And yeah, you can see here the chargeable income. This is the income that you get paid in the whole year and the income tax rate in percentages and the gross tax payable, okay? Now, for the first $20,000 for residents in Singapore, you can enjoy a 0% tax rate. So if you have, if you get paid $20,000, including the, your commissions and bonuses, you pay 0% tax, okay? And as you get paid more, like $30,000 in a year, you pay $200, $40,550, and so on and so forth, right? And for the first $320, thousand dollars you have to pay forty four thousand five hundred and fifty dollars and whatever in excess of three hundred and twenty thousand dollars you need to pay a twenty two percent flat personal income tax right so these are for the so these are for the residents now let's move on to tax rate for non-residents in Singapore so non-resident meaning right it doesn't, it doesn't mean like if you are a foreigner, you are non-resident. As long as you work in Singapore for 183 days and more in a year, 183 days and more in a year, you will be considered as a resident in Singapore. So you pay the resident tax rates, all right? So for those of you who are expats or foreigners that, you know, want to come to Singapore to work, you come to Singapore to work, make sure you work more than 183 days to enjoy this resident tax rate. That's it. Okay. So what if, what if, if you are a non-resident in Singapore, how much do you pay in tax, right? So employment income for non-resident is taxed at a flat rate of 15%. Okay. You need to pay a 15% tax if you work less than 183 days in Singapore. Right. Now, let's move on to resident tax rate again. Now with examples. So I'm gonna have uh, an example from my Mario book right here. Okay. So for this bracket, uh, blue collar jobs, jobs like cashiers, drivers, or factory workers, they usually get paid 1,500 in a month or $18,000 in a year, meaning they pay 0% tax. It's uh, tax free. Okay, and as you go higher, you have like fresh graduates, degree holders, accountants, engineers, or admin executives, right? Usually get paid about $3,000 and $36,000 in a year. Lah. That, this is how you calculate it, okay? For example, the first $30,000, you need to pay $200 in tax, and the next $10,000, which is uh, $6,000 times 3.5% equates to $210. So $210 plus the $200 will be $410 in tax. So that's how you calculate the tax. Okay, 
for senior positions, meaning positions that uh, have uh, experience three to five years experience and these are uh, like teachers, engineers, personal assistants, these are just examples. They get paid about $4,500 in a year and $54,000 in the whole year. Okay, so $54,000, so it's uh, this bracket right here, $54,000. Anyway, know, <laughs> sorry, it's this bracket right here, $54,000. So the first $40,000, they will charge, they will be charged a tax rate of $550 plus uh, $14,000 because it's the next $40,000, right? $14,000 times 7% will be charged $980. So $980 plus $550, it will be $1,530 in tax in the whole year, okay? And as we move on, the tax get higher and higher. Lah. You see, 7, 11.5, 15%, 18%, 19%, 19.5, 19.5, 20%, and 22%. Okay. And in Singapore, usually those uh, like managers or those management positions are like managers, general manager, CEO, CFO, COO. If you don't know what it means, uh, chief executive officer. Chief Financial Officer and Chief Operating Officer. Okay, they get paid rather differently if they are in a SME, Small and Medium Enterprise, and a Multinational Corporation, MNC. So, generally SMEs pay lower and Multinational Corporations pay higher. Okay, so let's go through that. Mm. As a CEO in a small medium enterprise, the average is about fifteen thousand dollars a year, or hundred and eighty. No, sorry, fifteen thousand dollars in a month and hundred and eighty thousand dollars in a year. So that looks out to be hundred eighty k. Let's see, hundred eighty k is somewhere in this bracket, right? Oops, plan falling down. In this bracket. So it's uh, thirteen thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Plus the twenty thousand times eighteen percent would be three thousand six hundred dollars. Three thousand six plus thirteen thousand nine fifty would be seventeen thousand five hundred and fifty dollars in tax. Okay, and if a CEO in a listed company, I have a very uh, like huge example. I mean, big example, which is if you know. The CEO of UOB Bank, Wee Yi Cheong, he get paid nine million dollars. So nine million dollars, meaning you can go to this bracket right here. Okay, his first three hundred and twenty thousand dollars is taxed at four forty-four thousand and five hundred and fifty dollars. However, nine million—that's about six zeros. <laughs> you minus three twenty. Thousand three hundred twenty thousand, eight point six eight million, right? Eight point six eight million, you times with a twenty two percent flat tax rate, one point nine million, plus the forty four thousand five hundred fifty dollars, one point nine five million dollars in tax. Okay, that's how you calculate a nine million dollar annual income in Singapore. Okay, so that's it, guys. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. And actually, I was inspired by my cousin who is from the United Kingdom, and she wants to work in Singapore. She got a job in Singapore, and she asked a lot of questions about the tax rates. And when she get to know the tax rate in Singapore, she was quite surprised because the tax rate in Singapore is very low compared to the United Kingdom. And when I find out online, and yes, I agree, it is it is very very low compared to other countries like in the west, other Western countries, right? Like UK or USA or even Denmark and Sweden, they paid like a lot in tax. Okay, guys. So hope you guys smash the like button and subscribe, and share this to your friends and family who wants to work in Singapore or going to work in Singapore, right? This will be very very helpful for them. And yeah, catch you guys in the next video.